What is up, my guys? How are you doing? It's your boy, Connor 85, and I'm back again in the cut. How you lot doing? Hopefully, you're doing quite well. So, today we've got the Stone Island and New Balance. These are called the Tokyo Design Studio Stone Island RC Elite. So, it's quite a mouthful. So, we'll just talk about the shoe briefly. It's on and for the ruffle. So, I'll just show you what I'm looking at. And bam, as you guys can see there, you're greeted by these running shoes, or at least what, you know, or at least, you know, what it appears to be like running shoes as well they um have uh the new balance design which is like this torn like design as if you know someone's been like just tearing the shoe and left other parts on and it just looks very different very out there if you like that fair play but for me personally it's just not my thing i prefer a wholesome shoe but hey who knows it might pick up you know um a bit of traction to become a trend with other brands as well so it's only a matter of time so, um, Stone Island could have done better, but then again, St Stone Island as a brand is just really like, it's kind of dipping right now. So, yeah, this is one of them where I've got to criticise a little bit. So, New Balance are really, you know, um, they make very nice shoes. Like, as of late, they've just been killing the game. And I think a lot of people, especially in the hypest world, do not take New Balance seriously. Do not slip on some of the collaborations. Some of the colour schemes, I'm definitely... I've got a pair of New Balance as well, but that's for running. But I'm definitely going to get a pair just to wear and just, you know, especially during winter as well. I'm going to get two sneakers and I'll take you guys shopping with me so you can see me buy the sneakers as well. So looking forward to that. So anyways, back to this shoe itself. It comes in this like... Uh, it's almost a butter cream, but it's not really. It's like as if it's a... Um, it's an ivory color, which is like, you know, sometimes interpreted as off-white. But I think I'll probably just lean towards ivory. It's like an ivory sort of creamish color and it covers pretty much all of the shoe. So with the shoes, um, the shoe on the left-hand side is torn on the toe box to reveal the Stone Island logo, which we all know, that compass, and it's in red as well. I do like the front ever so slightly, you know, how they've done it there. But I think the whole, like, you know, half-torn, you know, sort of shoe was kind of, I think, you know, uh, taken out, I think, way out of context. You know, or there was a lot of exaggeration, which is the better word to use. There was a lot of ex exaggeration by Stun Island and New Barnes. And I think it's just, it's like, meh, people are just not sure about this shoe. So this shoe is due to come out in three days and eight hours as well. Um, sometimes with certain shoes, you got to forgive them for how they look and just think about, you know, comfort and the function and the value that you get out of it as well, such as the Yeezy 380 for me personally. So it could be one of them shoes. I don't know, um, you know, um, if it's one of those shoes. So, um, it's going to retail £490. Like New Balance is, you know, the shoes are going up in value. Um, so yeah. I like the color though, definitely. I like the color. I like how also um the shoe on the inside, the tongue seems so light as well. Um, it seems there's a lot of ventilation. There's also like a bit of that canvasy material, like um, if you can see over there, like um where it says it's Stone Island on the front, there's like that like underlying like you know canvas material there. I like that, that's quite different as well. I like the tongue, even uh, towards the bottom there you've got the holes there the ventilation holes that is a vibe i definitely dig that as well um so resale wise i'm not entirely quite sure how these are going to do i think it's just one of those just you just, you just have to wait and see what's going to happen i would like to see them i think uh try again with a different silhouette maybe a silhouette very close to you know the ones which new balance make even like I think if they used the 550 silhouette, that would have been I think a lot better and just kind of had a little crack at it. So I'd love to see New Balance I think do some collaborations with Off White, Sean Weather Spoon, you know, um, all these you know uh, big other guys, or even like these little small skate shops as well. I'd love to see New Balance get into the skate shop game as well. Um, Off White's got a shoe which looks like a dunk as well, so. Well, which is influenced by a dunk as well. So it would be nice to see New Balance just kind of come out of you know um their shell a little bit more. Because running wise, they're killing the game right now. And this shoe is like a running shoe. I can buy this shoe for my mother and she'll be happy to have it as well. So yeah, um styling wise, so what can you wear with this? I'll probably say like you know, um, you know your earth tone, like your pastel colours. 
it's probably the safe bet for these. Um, they're quite good, especially for ladies. Um, if you, you know, you want to go to the gym, but also after you want to go out with your friends in town, you can put in your leggings, your jacket, and put them on as well. And you can, you know, um, go both places. So they are quite functional in that sense as well. So do not knock them out until you try them. I think the only shameful thing is you can't just buy them shoes. What I'll do, because I know these shoes will not sell out, I will go to end and I'll do a, sh a short video so you guys can see the shoe and then, yeah, we'll just take it from there. I might actually also do um, another video of the shoe itself, looking at the materials, speaking about it and just touching it and do like a voiceover. We'll see how this video does anyways. If it does crap, then I'll probably just delete it. So it's me, PS Corner, and I'm out. Peace.